Sibley, Sibley. Since we're all here being asked questions, what about you, sir? Mr. <laughs> Sun. What about it's you, your bro? Turn to spill the beans. Crushes. Um. Oh boy. Oh, where do I start? <laughs> where do I start? Boy. Because I could because I be long, I, pr I probably was, was I probably one was, was one of the most introverted weeb degenerates. <laughs> Brad, no. <laughs> no, okay, no. so this all started. My first crush started on UPN forty four. That's a that's a cable channel for some of you out there who don't know. Which was hanging out with my older sister, and of course she had a favorite show back in the day, and because she obviously could beat the crap out of me if she really wanted to, I had to watch whatever she was watching. But this was probably what got me into anime to begin with, <laughs> which was first anime, Sailor Moon. I started off with Crush on Sailor Mercury, but then it shifted over to Sailor Venus. Huh. That long blonde hair with that, with that bow ribbon. Oh my goodness. And she was she was quite oh, I playful. Mean, I mean, Sailor Venus was quite playful, but that was that was that was okay. She didn't push it too far to my to my recollection. So a little playfulness doesn't doesn't hurt. But yeah, so that's that's how it start. That's how it started. In the Dragon Ball series, I was think that was this. I think that was this, my second anime. I don't think I really had any crushes per se from that. Honestly. I kind of liked launch. No. Because it, it it seemed like it would have been interesting to to be around that person, you know. No. And that would have been it. That's just how I felt about it. If she doesn't transform, she would have a shot. But no. <laughs> no. Double entendres. <laughs> I do you, do you know how high your <clears throat> you probably would not be able to carry house insurance because of her. Bruh, look, you have to do what Roshi did, man. Live out in the ocean on a little island. Yeah. No. He was always happy. No. No. Mm. No. Clearly. No. Mm -hmm. No. Anyways, so mm. the next series, shoot. There was something I could barely remember at this point. <laughs> uh, let's wait, start with. Wait. Can, can I just say, honestly, we lost Chi Chi. Chi Chi just, wow. Yeah. Why do you think she, I never she even lost herself in motherhood? No, you know what happened. You know what Chi -Chi... happened. She was so, yeah. she was so controlling that no other guys wanted to be with her. So she had to find a total ditz <laughs> to get no, with. No, no, that, that's not really. The point. <laughs> do you remember, like back when there were kids, like back in the Dragon Ball like series? Yes, they, I do. They, they did kind of, you know, she did ask, like, would he, like, marry her and stuff. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm but, pretty, I'm mean, pretty sure it, even right then, it was just like, oh, yeah, this is probably the only dude I'm going to grab. He's he's totally oblivious to society, so let me just train him up right now before I have to deal with the, what more <laughs> difficult stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, you be catch him while they're young, boys. Catch so, him while they're young. <laughs> oh, <my>. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That, no, no. And, that, and Chi Chi's father probably trained her up to do that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, God. but the way how I see it, honestly, I, I love like her teenage stage. That she was perfect there. I was just like, hmm. yo, this is the same girl. I was surprised, honestly. She she wears the pants in that relationship. <laughs> yeah, bruh. Of course she wears them. <laughs> I mean seriously. Um, although I will, series, boys. but I do I do ship Gohan and Videl though. <laughs> Gohan and Videl. <laughs> I do ship huh. them. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, that that was a shit made in heaven. It, it wasn't gonna change. <laughs> Oh, has anyone has I mean, anyone seen Gundam Seed? All the boys. Has anyone no. seen Gundam uh, Seed? No, 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 not Gundam Seed. No. Gundam Wing first. So Gundam Wing. No. No. Oh my no. gosh, I'm I, really. I've never heard myself. of it till now. I've I never really myself. been into the Gundam series myself because. Is that the one that's big robot? Yes. Yep. The one mecha anime that I really watched was actually Zoids, to be honest. 
Um, I think I do have some characters on there that I, that I might actually crush. I'll get that. I'll get but to that's that. That's the thing. I can't really remember much about it. Um, which one? Zoids Chaotic Century or Zoids Zoids Century Zero or Zoids Fusors? I remember. I remember the first one, and then I remember the one where he could change like his armor and stuff. All right, so more likely like Zoids Century Zero. Yeah. So where the changing of armor was Zoids Century Zero. I remember Century the first Zero. one where he was found by the kid. I remember that one too. You talk about the role. You talk about the android. No, when he was found by the kid, like when he got dug up, and he found Liger Zero. That sounds like Chaotic Century. I think that was the first one. Yeah, yeah, because I think they, it was always Chaotic Century first, and they got to Century Zero and then Fusors. But ultimately, I would say from Century Zero, Naomi was kind of cool. You know, she had a sense of confidence to her, but I don't think it reached really to the point of conceitedness. It, it she may have gotten a little overconfident at some point, but she owned up for when she was when she basically got her butt handed to her. So, I would say if I if I was crushing it, it would probably be Naomi, Naomi Flugo. Inuyasha, Ooh. just remember that one. Oh yeah, Son Songo was cool I, actually. I liked, um, I liked, um, uh, Inuyasha's brother. What? Sashomaru. Sashomaru, I liked him. Yeah, the the coup, the coup de re for real though. <laughs> yeah, I like I I absolutely like him. And notice, folks, he has white hair. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, making all the sense here, boys. Woo -wee! Big thing to be a trend. So yeah. So you, but 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 if Kendra, you're gonna have to fight. You at Kaneki Ken, would you like him? Is the question. Who? I wouldn't blame you for saying no. Who? I mean, honestly, sorry, I wouldn't blame you for it. Well, Kaneki I'm, Ken, I'm this not, is from Tokyo Ghoul. Kaneki I haven't watched Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> it's not for me. I can't. Lie. I'll, I'll I put mean, it this way. I've seen I, the first I episode love, and I didn't like it. So um, I love the manga. And, but this was when I was younger Honestly. and I wasn't really into the gore, bloody stuff. Nah, so, gory. Yeah. To, really? to be honest, to, to be me honest, it was. Right? It, to me, it looked like gore when I first was watching it. To be honest, <laughs> it's just some. Same with Attack on Titan. I will it has never some watch honestly, Attack on Titan. I saw one episode there. and I was done. I will never no, watch I mean, Attack on Titan. I mean, from the manga, not the um. Wait. I don't. I, I don't Attack. care. I I've already seen. I I just don't care for it. It doesn't interest me. I mean, uh, Levi is awesome. okay well, looking. I don't really get why girls like him. It's I mean, he's Levi. Authority. <laughs> I don't like. He's short. And he hates so that. what? When, uh, <laughs> Look, you don't yeah. understand. The ladies want him. That's it. <laughs> I don't want him. The ladies just want Levi. You, you can't. That's you it. can't beat a f attraction. That's just how it works. Can we? How is he this, this attractive? Just <laughs> He's the bad guy, and he is. And he is the bad guy. He can't help for being two reasons. Well, that's true. You can't really blame him. Shorter than me. I know that. <laughs> understanding but when i'm talking about levi levi has the athleticism he's strong he's one of the top killers strong. of titans he doesn't look strong yeah, he's, he's good short at, he's, he's good small at look. looks can be deceiving look, you you think this is a joke right but your yes. man yes, I basically do think destroyed the military police and what was it, season two? I don't um, care. I don't I, I care. I don't it, but... care. Why is it whenever I you get to a certain the... point you start singing? I've only seen one episode of Attack on Titan and I've never watched the rest of it. So don't even bring it to you. Okay, so if we if we can wrap up on Inuyasha right quick. I did yeah. get a kick out of Songo, though I feel sorry that she decided to settle with Miroku. Yeah, I, I feel so sorry for her. I feel sorry for her. Look, one, you're not allowed to feel sorry for anyone because at the end of the day, that's... I mean, unless there's something we, you can do It's an anime. It. We can feel sorry for the characters if we want. 
I mean, when it comes to relationship situations, it's, it's basically the character's choice. So. I agree. Uh, technically, in that case, since it was scripted, it was the the script yeah. writer's choice. Yeah. So basically, so the original the person the day, who made it. At the end of the day, it was it was gonna fail in the beginning because it was most likely thought of to be just a mechanism. Indeed. Um. Let's see what else we got. Um. Mm. From Zo let me see. Okay, so as far as Gundam Wing goes, uh, my favorite character. My favorite character, as far as just just from a general perspective, just for just admiring uh, how how think uh, they went about stuff, was Troa Barton. If you get a chance to watch the series, although it, I'd say it kind of. Gund the Gundam franchise for most of them, I in my opinion, really resonates with me because they have this resemblance to human society as to where human society is going in its division. Yeah, no, that is understandable, and I think that's a that's something that they tend to use within um, mecha and anime. Like yeah, they tend to emphasize on certain ideals, like whether it be separation. Yeah, well, or all for the greater. You got to remember the thing about Gundam stuff like that. It was the thing about Gundam was it was written during the Cold War. A lot of things like that back during then, like, were very anti-war because that was the sentiment mm -hmm. sort of put out by the public. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was a pretty tense time. Everyone thought that tomorrow the whole world might just end. Yeah, well. It's getting closer, no, but for Gundam, I but... honestly don't blame them because when things are volatile, you you tend yeah. to look for something you bad panic? to happen. Yeah, as far as uh, my favorite cool. female character on Gundam, Gundam Wing, or the Gundam Wing franchise, I should say, Lady Un, <laughs> when she finally got out of the mind control and she just had a straight, she had, she was on the straight path. Yo, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Like Lady Ud, let's have lunch sometime. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta look her up sometime. As far as my favorite series of all time being Gundam Seed, for the for obvious reasons, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite character who I would who I would really crush on is Maru Ramius. She she steps up to the plate when she needs to, is able to keep her crew together be balanced in decisions, still maintain human morale. And of course, you know, she's got she's got a great uh she's got a great appearance as well. So it's all around balanced. Now I would say another a second favorite character who I wouldn't really crush on, but I'd more so really just kick it with is Lacus Klein. I'd say she is the role model for teenagers at that point. There's like just have 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 a have a balanced mindset like Lack is Klein, and and of course she's a vocal um, and she's a vocalist as well, you know, pop star. But she doesn't let it go I to her head. It, I think it would be best for you to explain that because for some people it's gonna go over their head. All right, what are, you, what are you what are you confused the about? That they shouldn't emphasize. That's why I, that's why I said go by go by the example of her demeanor. Not, I'm not talking about just the appearance aspect. I'm talking about just the demeanor, the mindset of how she stays balanced in in how she thinks. I see. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, so that was understandable. But yeah, Maru Rami is for the win, indeed. <laughs> she's, if she's... I would have to say somebody that probably influenced my mindset, it would have to be Hachiman from my high school romance comedy is wrong as I thought or something like that. Mm. Or a snafu. Mm. See, it's at the end. Mm. Honestly, he completely changed my life. Mm. I was just like, he has so much control mm -hmm. by limiting and manipulating his way around to the point where he's always the bad guy and people just toss it off because like, well, it's not my fault. They just move on. But mm. he's just trying to settle everything in a way where he handles it himself. And I always liked that about him. I was like, damn, he's so reliable. Mm -hmm. But then the problem came in when he actually noticed that it was hurting not him, but it was hurting others. 
Mm. You know, because it's hurting like people who cared for him. Like to see him take the fall for stuff that he didn't do or get hurt because somebody else was too scared to do something themselves mm. and stuff, you know? Interesting. But honestly, he changed my entire life. I took so many pages out of his book, it wasn't even a joke. But the problem was, I didn't learn the lesson that he learned at the end. I focused on his tactics and not the lesson. So that's why I mentioned earlier about the um, focusing on exactly what you're saying to them by sending them to look for. Interesting. Hmm. All righty then. Thank you. Thank you for that, Nomad. As we continue forward, let me see who else do we got. Um, does anyone know of Evangelion? Yes. Um, that's all right. I've sis. heard of it, but I haven't seen it. It didn't really miss out on much. <laughs> cool. But that basically talks about teenage traumas. Basically, <laughs> you suffer I mean, a huge trauma in your life, and then you're told to basically pilot this giant robot to save humanity. When you're at the brink of, when you're at the brink of puberty. <laughs> Would you like? Would you like to hear the other one? There was one called Aquarion, right? That I, Aquarion Evolve is what I watched. That uh -huh. was the one mecha anime that I watched, and I was like, "This is crazy." I mean, other than Zoids, of course. But Zoids is back in the day, so you know. Oh it yeah. Wasn't a choice. I mean, there weren't <laughs> there weren't really any character char any weren't that many characters, but Big O. Yeah. I go. love Lag Zero, honestly, especially like when he would always drop like his armor, like when they chilling at the end. Like, oh yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> but yeah, who remembers Big O? Big O, that sounds familiar. With the giant, the giant robot in Paradise in Dime City that actually fends off robots, and they're all trying to look for memories and stuff because everybody lost their memories forty years ago. I. No, if nothing about it, but I think the, I've seen it. The character I've Roger Smith, who was a negotiator. Never mind. Yeah, I'm. <clears throat> Never mind. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. There's a lot of stuff that go way back. I mean, you can just mention it and stuff, and just put it in my DMs, bro. You know, right. you know, your boy would look yeah. at it at least once. Right. Um. <laughs> did anyone grow up on the Tenchi Moyo franchise? Bro, I remember that. <laughs> let me guess. You were <laughs> let me guess. You were into Ryoko. Wait, Ryoko is the one with the um the spiky hair. Yeah. Yeah. Look, bro. Honestly, I was just laughing at the two of them the entire time because it's like she's so like hot for the dude, and he's just like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, he, he just wanted to have some peace. And I'm pretty sure most folks, most dudes would probably bop him upside the head. But it's like, guys, you got to understand something. A harem really is not all that it's cracked up to be. Yeah, it really because is not. at the end of the day, somebody always gets hurt unless you're all willing to share. And then jealousy will fester at some point. Yeah, that's, yeah, or it just doesn't work. Will change. Yeah, I, I can't will change. see, I cannot see polygamy working. I just can't see it working. But I mean, something would change. It might be even that, like, one of the partners in the harem, especially if it's one that you like the most, might find somebody else and say, you know, like, they can have this person to themselves, unlike you or something. So that's why that's why it doesn't make sense to me a lot of the times when I see a harem anime, and I don't really watch a lot of them because I know it's going to be the same thing at the end. Yeah, especially when it comes to the dense protagonist. 